In this screencast, we're going to talk about inheriting style rules from an element's parent. In CSS, an element will inherit some style rules set to its parent until you set it to something else. Uh, this can be sometimes uh, useful, but can also be confusing. Uh, there may be times when you really don't know what's causing your page to break or your font color to change and later to find out it was the class that you set to the parent element that's causing the issue. And let me show you an example here. In my CSS folder I have an inheritance.html. Let me open it with top style. And you'll see that I have a HTML file with some style setup and also in the body I have a nested div this is the first div that's inside the body inside this div I have just a line of text and then another div inside the outer div and I assign two classes layer one class to the outer div layer two class to the inner div okay and the text would say text inside the first layer div, text inside the second layer div. Okay, so inside our style sheet, I set a general style to my body tag to have margin zero and padding zero. So my div box or all my elements will start at the point zero zero with no offsets. This gives me more flexibility when I'm building a web page because I want to occupy all the spaces in my page and not to have a, like a 5 pixel top margin uh, offset or a left uh, 10 pixel offset from the body tag. Okay, And then also I set border 1 pixel solid black to uh, all my div elements inside my body. Okay, And then I separately declare class 1 a class layer 1 and class layer 2. Inside class layer 1 I have color red, margin left 20 pixels, width of 250. Then in layer 2 I have font weight bold and then width of 150. Okay. Let's first look how this would look like inside the browser and why it looks like that. Okay. So you see that the first div Okay, which has a border of one pixel is touching the very top of the page because there are no margin top but it is 20 pixels away from the left border of the browser because I had a 20 pixel margin to the left okay and you see this second div inside the first div that has a smaller width okay and the text inside is bold Okay, but you can see here that it's not having a margin. It's touching the left border of the outer div, right? Okay, so let's bring back top style. So as you can see, the color, okay, which was assigned to layer one, is inherited by the inner div or anything, everything within this div. All the text colors have changed to red even though you have declared a class a layer 2 or you have placed text inside another div. No matter what it's still inside the first div and the color value will get inherited by anything inside here unless you change it to something else. Okay, Unless I change colors here in layer 2 class it'll inherit from layer 1 which is red okay however width of layers uh, width of divs or elements that was assigned here uh, with 250 pixel was not inherited by layer 2 even if I do this it doesn't inherit okay even if I take this away uh, the I have assigned 250 pixel here but I've assigned 150 that's why it's different okay or else usually div 
uh, elements would just go span all the way 100% to uh, what the out outside box is. Okay, so the margin left is not inherited by the inner div, right? As you can see, uh, the second div. Let me bring back Firefox. So the second div, the margin was not inherited because it's touching okay, directly to the side of this div. And when I say margin 20, I'm saying margin 20 away from this border, not from the border of the page, it's from the border of the div. Okay? And I can show you margin left. If I do 10 pixels like that, save, minimize, bring back Firefox, and refresh, you see now that the div is away from this div for 10 pixels. Okay? And so margins, paddings are usually not inherited. Okay? and colors and fonts are usually inherited so for example if you have font weight here to have bold and then you take it out from here okay you save it you have it in layer one so this text will be bold and this text would also be bold because it's inherited from class one. Okay, so let's minimize, bring back Firefox, refresh. So you see that these all became bold red text. Okay, so this is inheritance. Uh, just remember, not all the values will get inherited from the parent, but colors, font colors, texts, uh, font weights, uh, these settings will, will get inherited okay, by the child. So uh, that's it for this screencast. Thank you.